didn't start recording. Ladies and gentlemen. Here it Ladies is. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The finale to Night in the Woods. Nice. nice. Hey, hey. Nice! Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I like go over the plots of books I've read. Ooh, look at this smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been in order. Wow. I just, like, look at Tumblr. That keeps me awake. All okay, right. B. That's not well. what she said, but that's what she was thinking. <laughs> All right, well. Yay! All right, yeah, fuck yeah, it's my turn. I get to play Night in the Woods. I've never done this yesterday. <laughs> I don't see anyone out there. Just wait! We'll be back! Yes? Uh... Hmm. And the cops? We called! They don't care! That's... it? Sir, you say you saw a man outside. Sir, that's not illegal! I'm actually gonna go back. Getting dark earlier. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And yeah. Maybe lasagna. Lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you like scared and worried? Good. Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Thanks, Egg Angus. You are extremely One good. One sec. Okay. Uh oh. What? My fault. It was not on the stream chat. Oh, okay. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Uh, no more than anyone else. Angus, good. Stare at Angus for like three seconds. Greg doesn't deserve you. <laughs> See, B. When B stares at somebody for, like, an awkward amount of time after a conversation, it's because she's bored. Fair enough. When May does it, it's because she's weird. Yeah, fair enough. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. Nah. I don't fuck around. That's the spirit. Hmm. So, no word from her parents? Nope. bad, right? Yep. Yep. Thanks, guys. Real, Real fucking... helpful. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm... Mm-hmm. Wait, everybody shut up. Oh, did I fuck up? Yes, you advanced it. Oh. I don't think there was much more for you to talk to. It was like, I can look at their bed and be like, yeah, this is where uh, Greg and Angus fucked. Yay. What? what? Oh. I heard it too. Seriously, what? Someone standing outside the door. What? I want to be very quiet. My god. me, May Night in the Woods, everybody. Hello. I'm in the middle of the fucking forest. I think I got shot. <laughs> Last time on May Night in the Woods, May Night in the Woods, Woods gets got shot. shot. Hi, I'm May Night in the Woods, and this is my crazy fucking life. I bet you're wondering how I ended up here. Well, well you'll just have to read the manga to find out. <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I ended up here. Well, guess what? Last time, pfft, and that's where I got here today. <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I got stuck in this bear trap. La la la. Don't oh, fuck a bear trap! Oh, and that's shit. how I got stuck in this bear trap. That was about ten seconds ago. <laughs> it was about ten seconds ago, and oh god, it still hurts. Everything's gone. There's nothing there. This is her street. But there's nothing. That's her tree. I'm glad that, uh... 
I'm uh, I'm glad that the town finally died. It succumbed to uh, pressure of the modern world taking it over. Oh no, wait, this is her tree. Mining jobs don't just make as much as they used to. Now everything's done by robots. And fracking. Fra and fracking. I hope it's picking up that buzz from the control that made me. I really do. <laughs> I think my Steam controller's having an aneurysm. Good. Oh, no, in the woods! Wait. Glad I get to play as all I'm these glad characters. Lori is there! God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this we can call out and know what our cries are heard and know that our cries are heard. <laughs> While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May? That'd be nice. May is my friend. Please God let May be okay. She's re a really nice person, even if she doesn't know it. I wrote her part in a movie I wanted to make. Thrill Kill, which film? <laughs> I know she'd appreciate that. That's that's sad. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's, it's, I'm, I'm getting fucked up. Who the fuck are you again? <laughs> Lori Myers. Thank you, Lori. Who are you else? again? <laughs> Me is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. <laughs> She loved them to hear about them. She. I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Well, she Chazkov just doesn't have another face. Yeah. I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple of years addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair that May, of all people, should have trouble. Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Sama. Anyone else? Mm. Mm. Ray has always been a menace. I always hated her. <laughs> I hope she wakes up and dies. That's all I gotta say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was the daughter to all of us on the block. <laughs> Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Well, we know her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night having a night in the woods there at the end of Center Avenue. And someone was out there hunting illegally and they got shot at and May fell and... She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and... Oh. Oh. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. She remembers who done it. <coughs> I'm sure she... It's like God is here in this very room. I know that. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What happened to this one? We know you. Are you here to clean up? Nah, I'm supposed to be fixing the door. Here? Nope. Okay, so, okay, so you're gonna be fine for today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. Hey, I'll fix that hole in the end of the fucking world. In the middle of everything. <laughs> the house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? Dead. What's dead, honey? Hey, honey. Let me think. Ah. Yeah, fucking Mr. Scriggins' goddamn whole thing was just, uh, so I fucking hate this bitch at the end. Erg. 
she even put her boots on? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I have to go see rabies. Uh, rabies will know what to do. Rabies. Oh, uh, this not like tree is so in the fucking way. I'll see you later, rabies. I never thought to go that way before. I didn't know that the tree would actually block me. Or that there'd be an invisible wall. No, it's the tree. Okay. Uh, it's one of these doors. No. I gotta, I gotta jump out the window. I gotta jump. No. I'm not gonna demand it. I know it'll make me feel better. You could vape. I'm not gonna vape. You shouldn't vape. You're trying to tell me something. <laughs> oh my god. E oh my god, May? Holy shit, it's May. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed! I feel weird about that. I'm pretty sure there's probably steam and stains on it. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So just, so she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. She didn't pass on someone. There. Somewhere in like four steps it takes to get to Greg's apartment? Yeah. Sure hope she's all right. Mm. Both of you, shush. No. Less noisy. How the well do you know this guy? We order pizza what? Twice a week? Please. We're out by the highway now since possibilities closed down. You two are trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure this delivery guy is safe. I can. Oh. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light, and I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Hello? Look who's awake! It's him, it's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! I'm glad they're all just hovering pizza around. Oh, that's you. So what happens? We called the cop. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. What? You were like in a coma. She walked. <laughs> Did you die? Oh, just took a very long nap. Nice! Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, me too, May. I had this dream for like a vision where I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of con. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can eat. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. I'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. She knows B is the responsible one. Yep. <laughs> I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. Hey. Okay. I know. 
It's a call if you need to go <sighs> home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. Is it picking up my mumbling? Yeah, I bet it should. Okay. You want a brownie? No, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there, so I'd, like, puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Aww. Egg and grind. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this, I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Aww. Mm -hmm. Deal. Talk to regret. It's because you right. only hung out with B. <laughs> what? What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Nar 3. Wow. I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. B, are you in here on Dragon Angus' semen bed? A bunk bed. Yeah, without a bottom bunk. They've got Wi-Fi. It's, it's like we're a real place, at least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May? Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Too. Yeah. 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 We all hit the sack. Cool, I'll be right out. <clears throat> Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep on the kitchen floor. You sure it's safe for you to sleep on the kitchen floor? Safer for me, at least. Nobody's been on the kitchen floor. I wasn't in the woods the other night. Right. I'll keep an eye out. Also, I got mace. How are you mace? Didn't that dude follow me home that one time? Oh, right. Yeah, he doesn't say that if you don't hear his conversation. Yeah. I live out past in the parking lot, up in the woods, out at the edge of town. At night. Before, it's just a state park. Got a mom and a dad, and some siblings, and a grandma. And she's spooky sometimes. Wow. We got a temporary. That? Yeah? His spooky grandma? Mm-hmm definitively going to be in the director's cut. That is a hundred percent cut content that is in the game's files. You get to meet her his grandma. It, but there's no like programming for it. It's just oh. cut content. Or That'd it's be just cool. cut dialogue. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah trampoline. She tells you about Black Goat. That's the first time you hear about it. Ooh. Yeah. You got a trampoline. Aw uh, lucky. Hey. Yeah, Germ. What's your name short for? Margaret. Take care of yourself, Margaret. You too, Jeremy. The uh, straightest sleeping position ever invented. No, 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 no. This isn't straight. This is just not gay. The not gayest sleeping position ever invented. <laughs> You know why I beat down Andy Cohen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. We were, like, dating ghosts, or hunting ghosts, or something. Okay. I was really into it. I played it, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon, suddenly, like, something broke. Broke? It was just, like... The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore, they were just shapes. Their lines were just something someone had written. 
They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either, and it felt so sad. I, I just lost these real people. This whole thing we had, it was just... Gone. Like that realization like dumped out of the screen and into real life. We went outside in a tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window, and now it was just a thing. A thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. There was some guy walking by and shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. I cried because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Oh, that's huh. And the next day was that softball game. Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like Nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry, and I just... I, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. He made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kind of, sort of. Since this whole thing happened when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. It's like back at the softball. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was a statue of, like, the founder or something. A shitty statue all rusty metal it was just these shapes he was pointing down at me and i was so scared i didn't leave my dorm room i either didn't eat or ate entire pizzas at once i down cough syrup just to sleep all the time and i finally got up the courage to leave and i came home where everything was fine where i knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it. <laughs> Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And ha the half a dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety and, like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. I thought when I came home, I just felt so safe here. Everything made sense for a few days, and then all this. And, 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 shh. It's gonna be okay. We'll all figure this out. I'm scared. I know. We're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I... <laughs> B, meanwhile, B is already the fuck out. And center of everything. All right, well, that's the part. See you guys later. See you guys yeah, next we're, time. We're gonna, tomorrow. We're, we're, yeah, we're done. And a uh, good five minutes of content here. That's a good point. Like, video streams usually last like a good goddamn like hour or something. Most okay. of my videos are like five minutes, about as long as we just did, or less time. And I'm just saying, it's weird. Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Boom.
Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. <laughs> you shot me! And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, me. I only shot him! <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, woo! You okay? What are... You're such an idiot. What are you doing here? What were you thinking, coming out here alone? This is all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume and following me around? And kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He... In my dreams. Hey, kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods to die. No, but... Oh, shut up. Did you let me do this? It's cheating, putting it that way. We're all in this now. <clears throat> and even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly we all would be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here, and you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. Sister. So you're not dying either. <sighs> Are we friends be a twist? Are we friends be a twist? That sounds okay. I me. Well, he's wounded. Sounds like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. You all wait here. I'll go. I fucking hear a goddamn single thing any of us said. Anyway! <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> if he's up in that mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. You walk me? I, I I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go do something really stupid. Gate's open. Gate to hell. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. I, I have to go down in there. Well then, looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang! We good? Oh. This isn't even loading screen. Okay, there we go. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Gonna be scared of down there, just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw us into tra ourselves into traffic instead. Walking up the shit. I would like to right. take this time to point out that yes. if you hang out with Gregory more often than you hang out with B, or if you do the Vice big important that? hangout oh. with Greg. Um, Greg will be the one following you and making most of the comments, and yeah. also at that very beginning segment of the stream, you would have played as Greg instead of B. Yeah. Um, like, basically, whoever you make better friends with in the, in the past week. Yeah. Like, it, so much for the element of surprise. He's going to hear us coming a mile away. You sure we want to do this? Yeah, man, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I I don't know what's gonna happen now. Okay then, we'll come out of this together. Angus doesn't even say anything, he just goes and pulls the lever. Ugh, thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? Fuck her up, Greg. We have Possum Springs Tourism Pamphlet Shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure. Well, here we are. 
Hey, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it... Oh. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh! I heard something! Down there! Gonna be okay, May? Yeah. I'm alright. You should be quiet. Yeah, I gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> I like how they're all walking very slowly to follow her. Yeah. I don't know if it's visible on the stream or the recording, mm -hmm. but um, the black there is not pitch black. There are stars in it. I Very think... fine points of light, but there are stars. It's probably going to be visible. Door. Door. Tunnel. Snakes rule! We're the tunnel sna- Whatever. <laughs> tunnel snakes rule. We're the tunnel snakes. And That's we us. rule. And we rule. Remember when, like, Fallout 4 wasn't confirmed and that was the thing? Remember how excited we were when it was confirmed? Remember the tunnel snakes jacket in Fallout 4? Kind of. We were all so excited, but the truth is we were just playing tunnel ah, snakes. Ah, jeez! Same. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's there. That Satan star. star. Which one? Oh yeah. The upside down star there in the shaft. The raft or the whatever. So. Doesn't count. And the cigarette is all that's left. Unfortunately, that was not enough to. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, so we're like five times scarier than you. There they are. Right there. I'm gonna kill them. Yeah, I, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. Hi, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... What, what, who, who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to, to protect their town and their neighbors. Then... Trying to kill me. Kill you? No one is gonna kill you. All of you were part of this town. By family relation or just being hard workers. Contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, well oh. he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. He's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having much to say in whatever. You think that I... Kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? God. I've seen this. I I felt it. Let Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. Twenty years back or so. After the Westmine closed out past Brittle, 
best Schumacher last supervisor was out here when the company locked off the balance his initials and date to the door then got this mine the old one not even a proper mine a big hole copper abandoned shoot long before any of us were born close to water that water was poison when the first settlers came here that old spring used to be right above where we were standing but that water dried up 1992 or so some men from west mine come back up here and try bootlegging Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper till Ed bursts through wall and finds this place. Jim walks into that hole, never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim, Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I always heard of that voice, girl. In dreams, in wake at times. What brought you down here? What? What is it? Black goat. Not even black like the cover. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there, in that hole, looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you just do something a hole in a cave told you to? You gotta understand. Most days it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving, government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, and spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. But we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap, you old dipshits. Finished? Yeah, sure. Prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. God, I think I know. And he's already singing to you, right? It, I... Ed explained it to a few folks, but they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Once he starts to take, once he takes a shine into you, it rubs off on you. He can do things. I never seen it. They say Ed could walk through walls. Okay. <coughs> Ed talked us all into it. After that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was it the town old and stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger. And money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. First time? First one into the hole by our own. We own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You threw them in the hole? They're eating him. He's hungry like you believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. It's someone's turn to find someone. Sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad was a rap sheet a mile long. For whatever sad end he'd wind up at, we did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh, my God. We don't use that word. You know he was talking up business with his cousin, right? Taking up business. Taking up business. You know what happened to his cousin? Earned a life when his trailer lab exploded. He had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey! Uh, you wanna act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh god. I'm Casey's switching like been... accents like five times a second. Go on. Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. What happened to we don't kill anybody who's going to be missed? Yeah. If they put up posters. We don't care anyone who's going to matter. Which one of you did it? Greg? He was my friend. All right, now. Throw it down or I will shoot. What if I get you first? 
bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. Brought guns down here? Dangerous this this far in the woods. Basic safety. I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Frag. They're monsters. None of this, none of this happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Awesome Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided a, for a family, you bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than their stay and no opportunity here. Old people die in houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. We can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just. Please. I'm gonna die down here. Why are you telling us all of this? Because we're getting old. Even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood. Carry this on. We're gone. Really, you're like pitching us on this. Were, were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting? Now? Financially? Like, or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why? Uh, yeah. Why should we just? Why shouldn't? Why should we help you? Because if no one's here to do this, remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death, and soon we will all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. Oh, you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave. I was gonna stop you, but understand. You don't know who we are. Not there, but we all know who you are. You fear they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it eyed. I don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is, but I swear to God, let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. The truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> Can't move, guys. I'll carry you. We didn't get Greg saying, I'll fucking kill you. I have no I idea. I think you have to be on Greg's route for that. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just... horror. That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like, everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a second, okay? Okay. So, let's see. Yeah. I... For what? I, I, I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but like, 
they lost what they thought was going to happen, but it happened like a long time ago, you know, how they remember it, or like picture it, and things it gave them, so Casey and that kid at Harfest, and sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. I'm sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. his daughter to be there with him, the granddaughter. Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May, May, May are you okay? May, say something. Love you. Ah, they're adorable. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. <coughs> it was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. All right, uh, I'm up. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I think I can walk at least. I tore it up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Oh, well, thanks, guys. Thanks for all your support and help. Oh, oh there, there we go. go. Still doing all that. Hold my hands. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. I can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mind river. Run a mine. Right. I can run. I can't jump. <laughs> I can see the bottom. I don't think we're going to die in this one foot of water. Right. Do 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 do. You coming, guys? Okay, well, I'll go across that. Hey, wait, are you guys coming? They just stare at you blankly. You guys just gonna wait there? Uh... Alright, well, I guess I'll go across uh, here and, uh, you know. Yeah, are you sure? Well, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, I, I you know. Be, you're, you're an alligator. You wanna go first? You wanna swim through the water here? I mean, I know it's only a foot of water, but it's like you're an aquatic. Pretty racist, dude. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll just go ahead and go across. You, you know, I, I just... Maybe I think I'll sit here and soak my feet for a little bit. I, You know, I almost just got murdered here. You know, it's a little bit deeper down there. You can soak your whole, like, waist. Uh, Alright, I guess. That's a good point. Ah! <laughs> I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I lost. I'm trying so hard since not to be angry. 
got me all defenseless and I lost more and more and more. It's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time and the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over, was over long before I got here, so long hiding or trying to outrun this, I get it. This won't stop until I die, but when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again and I want to, it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. No, I can't understand you. Shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... Hey. I'm okay, guys. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You are all sleepwalking there for a second. You want me to carry you? No, I, I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need. We're safe. Hey guys, there's light over here. Uh -huh. You smell that? I bet he did. He's a bear. He's a bear. What is this? It might be a vent or something. The miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Huh? Pretty sure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! We get lucky and someone's out there in the woods at night and the night in the woods. I can try and make it out. No, I can, like. Okay, yeah, are you up for this? No, but that doesn't really matter because I'm even less up for starving to death. Aw, dude! Thanks, May. That's very nice of you. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Oh! I'm shit, sorry I said the wrong thing. One. I didn't get to hear about the dolphins. I didn't get to hear about the dolphins that I'm all hopped up on. I'm all hopped up in dolphins. Hey, you fucked up, my man. Other. Yeah, okay. I don't know how they expect you to hear this entire track. Like, you literally just have to stand in one spot and press A. Yeah. Yeah, see there? No, I wanted to listen to more of the song. Well, you didn't. Oh. Well, that's as far as she got. Um. The end. I think my game... Yes, my game has frozen. The stream has frozen. No, the stream is only frozen for me. My computer's trying to process the gorm. Okay, now tap back in. Is that right? OBS Studio disconnected. I'm gonna be right back while we uh get this set up. Okay, nobody can hear you. Yeah. Uh, nope, it's reconnected. Yeah, I'm gonna still be right back. Okay, we'll just have to uh take a short break, make the video editing more difficult. Wait for my friend to return.
he'll be back someday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. They'll return with a two hour massive power, 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 power. Someday, someday, someday. This place. In the at night, in the woods. It's a video game, but it's also an experience. You should probably play this game yourself and not watch some crazy couple of streamers slash YouTube small budding YouTube personalities play it. The voice acting probably is pretty cool. That's what one of our personal friends say, so it must be true, 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 true. Fuck. Ellie's really busting my chops here. He's busting my balls. And me wait. My thing. I'm the one who busts the chops. Now the chop busting is happening to me. Del, you're really busting my chops here, man. Well, I'm sorry. I'd like to apologize for the chop bustinating. But shit. The video editing won't be difficult at all. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut that whole section out of it. Yeah, we just fucking take. Like, and now I don't have a face. Okay, no, I'm good. We just like drag <laughs> and this cut. place. Huh. Anyway, germ. Yeah. What are you doing here? I just ran up the hill. <laughs> Sorry, I had to drag yelling. We were all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the well in my backyard. It's been a really bad night. I don't like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? Hey, May? Yeah. Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. The woods? At night? Same though. <laughs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. And the sugar and caffeine. Me too. Oh, uh, anyone else gonna get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. Yeah, that might. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ! Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, uh, okay. Bye, guys. Glad he can get some dynamite. There goes a weird, weird guy. Saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave in. That was self defense. I guess, but we did cause the death of a, like a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh god. Yeah? Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. 
Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Uh. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Huh. This is like that trolley thing. Oh, <laughs> Holy shit. shit. What, <laughs> what trolley thing? You know, the one where you wave goodbye to the passengers. <laughs> okay, I'll explain while we keep walking. <laughs> B, I'll explain it. <laughs> okay, so uh, if there's a trolley, there are two people on one track and 12 people on another track. Um, neither of them are in any danger, but if you pull the lever, you get to wave to all of them when you go by. Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? I bet she just has a group chat for all of them. Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here, and I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this, and it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is gonna keep doing what it does, and I don't think any of us deserves all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it, and you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kinda killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. <laughs> Lol, we killed it. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I am rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at wherever you're at. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all your problems, but if I could fix them, I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, or, or borrow them, at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. Ah, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. I'm glad she types out log off, May. Log off. It's time to get off the computer. You should stop posting now, May. It's time to go to bed. It's like that picture of the cat trying to make you stop posting, except it's on the other way around. Yeah, from Persona. <laughs> From Persona 12. Oh, no, from like the internet circa 2005. <laughs> yeah, I... it's time to stop posting. Oh. And May is that cat. May is the time to stop posting cat. Yes! Yay. What? We, we get. Uh. We didn't find the last one! Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did! Yep. The church. Yep. We did it. The reason that I realized that, by the way, was because I got the achievement that I hadn't gotten. Yeah, I know. I saw. I, I know, but the stream didn't. It doesn't record Steve. Oh, anyway. okay, yeah. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening up the pickaxe today. Greg informs you we're doing brand practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really? You massive dork, lol. Band practice today, because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Wait, message. Good to be alive this morning. That's all. Okay, wait. Wait a second. Angus is dead. No. <laughs> wait, are you going to look at Casey's? Yes. <laughs> all right. Boy message. Born to lose. Country trash proud drummer. Skate and destroy. State to create. Bound for glory. Rest in peace, Casey. He's kind of fucking shit to be 19,387 dead cops. <laughs> yeah. World is a fuck. Kill them all, 1998. <laughs> Skate to create. 
Born to Die World is We a never actually read Casey's message, so. Yeah. I thought it would be nice now that we know he will never log on to Messenger again. Casey was a dick. Epilogue. Stars. Stars. Casey, you do not know that! He was a shit. Do you really believe the crazy fucking murder cult that he was going to cook meth? Do you really believe that they were being honest about that? They kidnapped a teenager who was sitting on her phone at Harfest. I mean, who was that teenager sitting with? Nobody. Exactly. Yeah, because she, and she wouldn't be missed, but what the fuck was she doing wrong? Cooking meth? No, she wasn't! Well, I grew she up in a small she ass was town, fucking let me Tumblr. tell you. This motherfucker right here... Who are, Why like, would you bother cooking that? Who has a fucking like uh, icon of like some goddamn like uh, like camo with whatever the fuck is guns? This motherfucker was definitely cooking meth. Casey was all not cooking meth. All the motherfuckers I went to goddamn high school with who are currently cooking meth. This very instant, Casey was cooking meth. He was not cooking Casey meth. Casey was absolutely cooking meth. They would meth. not associate with someone who was cooking meth. They would absolutely associate someone who was going to grow up to cook meth. You might associate with them in high school, and they might say they're never gonna cook meth, but then they end up fucking cooking meth. Casey was not goes. going to cook meth. He was the gonna crazy cook fucking meth. murder cult just thinks he was a piece of shit because he didn't have a job. They were gonna kidnap May and kill her too. Well, that's completely not true. But he didn't have a job. He was cooking meth. That's not a job. He wasn't doing it. Well, it's, it's kind of a job. It makes money. We're gonna eat you through Thanksgiving, bird. Casey was cooking fucking meth. I should like. Reread some of these. I mean, I got time, and the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Thanks, HP Lovecraft. Okay, yeah. Let's go with that one. That seems relevant. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. Holy shit, it is HP Lovecraft. Mm -hmm. Shapes from beyond the veil of space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre. <laughs> An influence on much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature, Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. You know, I don't really feel- that doesn't seem necessary. I feel like you literally just lived that. Yeah. Good! Or God. God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. Hey, honey, is that you? No! I'm back in the kitchen. You don't wanna talk. No! Yes. Mommy, I love you. Mommy! I almost died. Hey, sweetie? I almost died. How are you feeling? I almost died. Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, Mom. I, you're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules, just because... I mean, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Katie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is. Just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. You can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? <clears throat> yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? <coughs> yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hon. Okay, well, I'm off. Love you, sweetie. Love you, too, Mom. Are you still reading the same book? Oh, no, this is a different one. This is about people who died in the mines around here. Yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> it's got some old songs. Wanna hear one? Yeah. Far, far, far from here the ocean's roaring, far away across the din. I hear the Lord a-callin' their children, bringin' in, bringin' in. 
I see you, I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord a call on their children. Bring them in, bring them in. Carry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring them in, bring them in. That's nice. It is, it is nice. Okay, yep, that was it. <clears throat> bless this mess. Bless this mess. Live, laugh, bless <clears throat> this mess. Let's go see Ev. Dad! Hi! I'm just standing in front of the house. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Me, though. <laughs> I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I'm fine. I've made laugh. I've done a heap of other stuff, but this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? You're not supposed to pay you enough to live. You're not supposed to let you provide for your family. You're not supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Workers are supposed to be able to talk. Workers are supposed to be able to have a life. Workers are supposed to be able to live. I don't always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have her hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's why it made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say than to get it done. Unions are always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here... I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. What did you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? You know what this tooth is? Oh, really? You sure? Yeah. Granddad must have had it from the old days. Hey? Thank you. Uh, it looks brand new. I just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. Hey? Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Good thing. Hey. Yeah? You come down to the picket with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kid. Be back later, Dad. She didn't tell her dad she loves him. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night light plans. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. Dum -de dum I'm glad that both him and mom just called me. I'm gonna go see if Rabies is there. And Rabies is fuck. Aw, oh, you're so cute, Rabies. Ah! It's snowing. Yeah. Was it snowing in the scene over? I don't think so, no. Not go and see rabies. But rabies! <laughs> yeah, he's just Germ's friend. No, you definitely can go and see rabies. Because it's an achievement to go visit rabies on the final day by yourself. Hmm. Wonder if we'll ever be a big boom in town again. Those guys last night were like deluded, but it'd be really nice. If there was a god, I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. I'm like proud of us all for having good ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good ass town. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. I swear you could see rabies on the bridge. No rabies this time. If you want to unlock the extra bonus content seen, you can purchase Night in the Woods for only $16.22 right now on Steam. Depending on when you watch this. And by right now, I mean... November 3rd... Oh shit, I think the sale is over, actually. <laughs> You can no longer purchase Night in the Woods on Steam for you sale. You can no longer purchase Night in the Woods. Hey, man. What's up, Selmers? You okay? The whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. 
I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I did not know that. I used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. So where'd you get those migraine pills? Well, if I ever... Oh, that's yeah. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. What did Anytime. she mean by that? Yeah. Is Megan a pee on Selmer's? No. No coming. It's gonna be bad this year. I'm on your porch. Hey. Cracking my muddy, dirty, gross paws all over your porch. No. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Chaz Cobb. I think Selmers wants me to pee on her. Hey, May. Hey, Mr. Chaz Cobb. Got any more Dusk Stars we can look at? One more. Glad it's already here. It's the sun. <laughs> you can only see it at dusk. Found it. Let us consult the guide. Erskine, the fire maker. The fire maker? The wanderer in the cold dark, making a fire and holding up to it. For light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Huh. This star makes me want to cry. Crying on my road? You wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad <clears throat> cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered the moral. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and made them, wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them, and we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create these stars or name them, but we had these autumn afternoons and we found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened because hearing it happened to you. That is nice. <sighs> it's not bad. Yay! Yay! <laughs> What now? Supermoon is coming. What is that? A giant moon. Oh, that sounds super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be later tonight. There will be others on the roof. You can come. I will make the hot chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chaskov. See you soon, Stargazer. What am I missing? Birds. I know there's shit that I've missed. So. Yeah. We didn't do everything this time. Hold on anything. Hello, B. Did you get my texts? Hello, B. Give me my texts. Would you text B? Yes. Yeah? Absolutely. What if she didn't answer? I mean, fuck, if I just leave her alone, I guess. You wouldn't ask her if she got your texts? No! Let's go walk up to the old pickaxe. But what if she didn't get him? Oh shit, I didn't get your text. Sorry. Tear this poster to the fucking ground! He ain't missing, he's dead! Barb is dead! Barb never, never did meth. Listen, Casey Harrington! Hardly. Fuck you! Listen, Steve Scriggins! <laughs> Steve. Fucking Steve is great. Steve Steve is the best. We all love Steve. Not this game, Steve. The uh, Stranger Things Steve. Steve Stranger Things is good. Steve Harrington is the greatest. Steve, Steve Harrington Scriggins has never is a lost piece a of child. Shit. Steve Harrington has never lost a child. Steve Scriggins is a fuck. I hate. Everyone hates. <laughs> I was gonna say how to pass your cake. Hey, Pastor Kate. Hey, you in here? Love, peace, death. No. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh. No, 
Alright. Hmm. I'd like to apologize for my behavior. Should. This is just like a gradient. This is just like a gradient block, a gray block, and like a brown block. Yeah. Plaster case probably here. Oh, you know what? I can probably talk to the weird teens. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe Brooks will come back for the last day. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How did the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've all got this empty space. Use it for so many things, but... You tried. We can do. <coughs> God will show up when the time is right. Bruce is my friend. Mine too. Bruce is my friend too. You need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, mate. There's a rake in the back of the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, mate. That line also implies that she knows that Bruce killed himself. Yeah. Maybe she just yeah. thought about it for three seconds. Hey, there they are. Hey, it's you guys. What's up? Hi. Hey. You guys still doing that talking in order thing? Nah. I'm messing it up. I'm kinda over the whole thing anyway. <laughs> oh really? Yep. Because that grand Because that pentagram thing was totally a thing, so like thanks. Huh? Oh cool. And actually everything you said was pretty spot on. Probably because we're actually psychic. Probably. <clears throat> All right, well, I can't tell what level of sarcasm we're working on here. Oh god, I sound like a mom. Maybe no sarcasm. Maybe we're covering our tracks. So co our cover isn't alone. Never change, weird teens. Please grow and become weird adults. Maybe we don't age. Maybe we stay young. Maybe we're forever. Uh, thank you again. For what? I don't remember doing anything. Who's this lady? Who is this lady? I time to jump off this cliff. Here we go! I'm coming, Bruce! Oh. <laughs> Only that invisible okay. wall was there when Bruce... Okay, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> well, I mean, he doesn't have, like, a cut in his ear, so... No, 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 no. May is small. They are sitting down! <laughs> May is really small. And these are teenagers! Hey, I've seen some big ass teenagers in my life. May is very small. May is very small, but like they're also those bigger teenagers than, like... are like the same size as Pastor K when they're sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> well, Pastor K is a little bit taller than them when they're sitting down. That they're about regular size though. May is just fucking tiny. Whatever. There's another Satan star. That's that's a chrysanthemum. What? Excuse me? Oh my god. This changes everything. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. It sure does. Well. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you, discover, you discovered a secret, and it was ripped from your very hands. <laughs> <laughs> On the very last day of Night in the Woods. Hey, you okay? No. I heard you were like in the hospital or something? Uh, yeah. What for? I fell into a ravine while running there. through the woods at night. In the woods? Why? Uh, chased by a death of conservative uncles. Death cult of conservative All uncles. Alright, you don't have to tell me. Are you really okay? Yeah, just been a weird few days. Okay, I got worried. Oh, I'm super tough. Nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Okay, that's good. I wonder if they'll ever figure out who messed up the dudes. The dudes? 
the mural in the tunnel. Oh, I did that. What? Why? I don't know. That's not a reason. Why do you care so much? It's the dudes. The dudes. The dudes are sacred. Why? They're like a part of this place. This entire place is royally messed up and nobody cares. I wanted someone to notice things aren't okay. This town is like a horror movie that never stops and it's not even a good one. Yeah, it might suck, but it's our horror movie. What kind of movie would you want it to be? I don't know. I mean, a comedy? Everyone lives in clean, shiny places there and they're all pretty. And they kiss. But they're horrible to sit through and you end up hating every person on screen. Do you want to kiss? Yeah. <laughs> they're always pretty hateable. It's okay to hate them. They're not real people. Yeah, fictional people don't mind. I mean the actors. Me too. <laughs> you know. Does your family do stuff for the holidays? My dad's usually away on Thanksgiving, but he's home for the longest night. You should come do Thanksgiving at my house. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. We have four chairs and there's only three of us. That other chair usually just has junk on it. No, no, I can't. Why not? It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hey, hey, okay, we can talk about it later. Thank you. You okay? Can I can I do anything? No, it's cool. I just need to sit here and be quiet for a while. Okay, well, I'll leave you alone then. See you tomorrow, probably. Me? <clears throat> Thanks for hanging out with me. No problem, kid. Try not to, like, <coughs> burn something down in the meantime. <laughs> <coughs> See ya. This gay rat. Kill her. Down for the whole pig. Oh, fuck. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I play mob. I do fix it. Twitter needs none. Oh. Okay. What's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? No. I don't know. Don't even remember today. Not like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. Where some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, have learned something, but I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. Sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Well, it's been an honest day's work. Quit time. Mountain's game tonight. See you around. I don't know if I see you first, man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, how do you know my name? Tanner, Mr. Tanner Lord. I can get a job as Tanner Editor and really enjoy it. <laughs> Bob Janitor. Bob Janitor, Night in the Woods. He's the same janitor from Scrubs. That's the janitor's real name. Yep, janitor. Janitor. I believe in the janitor. Oh, who the fuck? Who the fuck is this guy? Anyway, video outpost too. <laughs> Free porn! No. Ah. All porn is free nowadays. They have Wi-Fi now. Yeah, but it's interesting for the porn, the history side of the porn. Oh, I do declare it sure is 1822. You're right, darling. Holy crap! Uh, ah! A taco place! This is the best thing that's happened in town since they... We got internet! We were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago because it's eternally two decades behind. It takes you three days to torrent a movie. It takes you a day to load a gift. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Fuck. Oh my god, they deliver. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. Stop yeah. We will all have tacos soon. Thank you, go for some tacos. So, so you're. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you're a taco. If they weren't so afraid to say they were animals, if they weren't so actively avoiding it, they could have said Taco Cat. So you're a taco dude now? I 
mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. Not really snowing that hard. It's snowing, there's snow in the sky falling. How are the tacos here? Good, I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out, we deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of this general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? <clears throat> oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try the all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Please. Get out of here, I'm working. <laughs> let's oh. go down. Oh, oh, that was sad, but let's go downstairs shit I've first. Ever seen. I'm gonna talk to the teens and also the guy. The dude. The dudes? Hey, you guys! Hey. Stay safe, alright? Wow, yeah, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man, it goes. No way. Nah, dude. Nah. Bye. Yeah, bye. It was Lori. I forgot it was Lori. Yeah, it was definitely Lori. But then, when we had that conversation where I think Lori herself said Nuke Possum Springs, I was like, oh yeah, yeah that's right, it was Lori. Yeah. When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. Hell is not a flooded ruin, it is a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. Still don't want me listening, bitch, I've been here every day. Well, no, we missed today. the other way it just makes a fucking u-turn and goes directly into my ass right into my shit like that uh like that one episode of howard stern where they smoked a hookah with their ass do not remember that listen to howard stern <laughs> who are you haven't you seen me around no well i've noticed you that's not weird or nothing a bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? I almost gotta stand out here. Hey, you smell the fan. Yeah. Um, nah. Oh well. Okay, I'll talk to Grim. We'll talk to Yang. We'll talk to Smelly. <clears throat> you know, I kind of find it sad when the town isn't run overrun by rats. Yeah. Gorm. Gorm. He's not here. Gorm is dead. Gorm died. I think he killed himself with that dynamite. <laughs> ah, jeez. Oh man, now I'm trapped. <laughs> you cultists are trapped down here. No, I'm not trapped down here with you. You're trapped down here with me. Hey, so we need some new blood in this thing we got going. You call throwing dynamite around a martial art? <laughs> <laughs> well, it works, doesn't it? <laughs> we need some new blood in our covenant. What do you say? I'm yeah, gonna throw okay. dynamite at you. <laughs> yeah, okay. That sounds good. Well, yeah. look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. It just seems like relevant. Yeah. Well, look who's alive and well to you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? New band practice? Yeah, we saw everything. Yeah. The rat babies are dead. The 
the rat babies are dead. Birthday zone. It's the birthday zone. God, this door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. Oh, wow, there's a pentagram on this sticker. I can't read the band name on it. Cops Driller? I guarantee you it's not Cops Driller. <laughs> Maybe it's like a German band with a name in English? Sounds like that. Guten Tag, wir are Cops Driller. Auf Wiedersehen. Close enough. <laughs> I, I said it right. Yeah. Off oh, Vieter Zane. <laughs> Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise, because Angus is an extremely nice person. Yes. No? Yes. Do you not think that lasts or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change and meet new people and become new people, I think Angus is going to find out he's got more options. Jeez, you thought this out. Yeah, she sure has. <laughs> You know, before you came along, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. <clears throat> and fantasize. So, like... <laughs> how are you? Uh, I'm good. Really? I feel like right now I could convince myself I was fine or completely shattered. Just, like, stuck in neutral. You? Um, not great. Had a dream that the world was ending. Might be. You think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads, or was. Who knows if that was all of them. I can't believe they even exist, or existed. Probably take them a few days to die. Yep. I don't know, I kind of understand them in a weird way. Really? It's like... A porch light that's on and there are all these bugs around it and then the light goes out and there's a hole where the light was it's like what happened to me way back like I was telling you about on the couch last night oh crap that was last night seems like two lifetimes ago <laughs> yeah god I can't even wrap my head around these past two weeks I think that's pretty understandable May remember that story uh, Adina and the frozen lake isn't that Adina and the Forest God? Oh, okay, whatever. There were these weird teens. I don't remember that part of the story. No, dummy, this part actually happened. I know, I was joking. I don't know how to interpret jokes today. Okay, so you saw some teens. Anyway, they were being all spooky. Actually, you met them in the graveyard. Oh, those teens. Yeah, the teens that tortured you. Yeah, them. They told me I'd see some pentagrams and then it happened? I think they're like witches or something. You think they're, uh, psychic? I don't know. I think they're just weird. But I saw the last pentagram when we were down there last night. It was like in the tunnel supports where the hole was. Didn't really register much with me. Holy shit. Yeah. You weren't supposed to know. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. It didn't really register with me much at the moment, but like in that story, there's like a dead astronomer or something, and they're like a reflection in the ice. And there's this star they can't see until they're dead. Yeah, the ghost star. And if you saw a reflection of the ghost star, it'd be like a pentagram. That is true. I don't know. There's this other kid, Lori Myers. We were hanging out by the tracks. Oh, so you're just hanging out with teenagers all over the place? Well, hush. So Lori, like, squeezes these metal dudes on the train tracks, and they become, like, these cool little monsters. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Lori's pretty rad. But watching her do that, it felt like a... This... Ritual? <laughs> like... What was that old magic when they tried to make gold out of shit? Alchemy. Yeah, it was like alchemy. She was like doing magic. So you're saying you've met like four witches. Not real ones, but I don't know what I'm getting at. But I feel like everything was over, like there was no hope. Remembering like ghost stars and Adina and teen witches and Lori making monsters out of toy people and real trains. Just suddenly felt like life was happening and teens were doing weird magic, so things couldn't be that hopeless. 
this is like those inspirational stories where religious people put, put in books and like old people read them about how angels stopped their car from hitting them or sold them a house for almost no money. <clears throat> Except your angels are team dipshits. You work with what you have, I guess. Hmm. So, how good is your car? Good? How? Like, can it drive real far? Hey, do you know anything about- what? We should do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. They sell barbecue. I, I don't even- yeah, okay. And they sell barbecue? I think barbecue is south. Not all of it! It's everywhere, BBQ. All different kinds. Dry, wet, ultra. I could. Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then. LOL. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That's actually kind of a gift. God damn this door! I think God already has. There they are! Hey guys. Sup, nerds! How did you get Angus out of work? I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, he did in real life too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so... <clears throat> I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. See? They, May and Greg think, these delinquents think he was good. Yeah, yeah, they think he was gay. Man was gonna cook meth. Should we, like, tell his parents? No? I mean, tell them what? Uh, okay, yeah. Hmm. Good point. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think a song and a pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. <clears throat> when I... Yeah, when I was down there last night. When I was down there last night... I, like, made the decision not to die. Or at least not to die without a fight. And the thing down there told me nothing would save me forever. Wait, it was, like, talking to you? It's been talking to me for a long time. Just didn't know what it was. But anyway, like, nothing is gonna save us forever, but a lot of things can save us today. It's really, really pretty, May. Haha, <laughs> thanks, I totally made it up. Like, right on the spot last night. I said it before, you're good with doom. Doom, doom, doom. I'm gonna sing the doom song. Fuck up, okay? <laughs> so anyway, song and pizza. We earned it by still being alive today. That's a decent reason. Decent. 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 And that was Night in the Woods. Let's play it again. <laughs> no. Oh, excuse me. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Very fun. Yeah, we're probably- we're, we're gonna- we're definitely uploading this to YouTube. We might even do something for, like, the Director's Cup when it comes out in December. We'll have to wait Maybe. and see. Maybe, yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Um, I, I would like to take a minute to point out how the Director's Cut has been said to work if you own the game before December 16th, you will receive the Director's Cut for free. However, if you do not own the game before that point, it will be paid DLC from the sounds of it. Not 100% sure, but... This game is incredible. So basically, just buy it for it. And even if you've you seen it. this playthrough, even if you've been sitting here watching it this whole time, you you still with us till the end, you still have... A lot to see. Yeah, I have to play the game at least twice. Yeah. And we intentionally did some didn't do some things. Yeah. So please, please buy this game. Please. It's oh, yeah. incredible. 
And... Hey, Clyde supported this game. Neat. Who? The, the Don't Starve guys. Oh. Neat. And, um... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's it. We'll... We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time, kiddos. Goodbye. Hey, right, you have the mouse. No, I don't. Do yeah, you do. Okay. OBS. <laughs> OBS. Right. Come on. <clears throat>